Hello everyone, this is Mike Reeves and I'm the Product Manager for Security Onion Solutions. If you're not familiar with it already, Security Onion is a free and open platform to help you peel back the layers of your enterprise and make your adversaries cry. Security Onion has been downloaded over 2 million times and is being used by security teams around the world for threat hunting, enterprise security monitoring, and log management. If you're a blue teamer, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you can be alerted when we add new content to our YouTube channel. Today I would like to give you a preview of a new feature coming in 2.3.100 called Cases. Cases allows you to track an incident from start to finish without having to leave the SOC interface. So let's go on a hunt and leverage the new Cases feature. All right, so I always like to start a hunt with the Alerts page. So let's go ahead and go in the Alerts um, and let's sort these real quick. And let's look for something interesting, uh, this ET download um, malware fake IE thing is a good one. So let's drill down for that. Looking at this one, uh, this looks interesting. It looks like a file was transferred, this exe file here. We're going to escalate this. So go back up to the top, hit the button you're used to, and I'm going to add this to a new case. So that's pretty familiar uh, activity. Uh, so now if you go over to the new cases section and we view the case, uh, you can see where we put this event. So let's go ahead and change the subject to this. I like to put a unique identifier on the front. It's just a date. And then fill out a description. Uh, we've seen this from a user before. And then we're going to assign this to myself. We're going to change it to in progress. And then we're going to add a category. Now this is the default categories that are listed. You can add categories on the fly, so let's just go ahead and add malware here. So we've done that. Now let's go find some more things around this event. So let's go to the events tab, and you can see here's the original event. These events get pulled into a historical uh, index. So let's go ahead and pivot on the network community ID and look through here, and we're gonna quick add all these events. You can see on the actions menu, there's a link to that case that you just opened. Uh, so let's go in there and click all of these because these are all associated with that case. All right, now we can go back into the case and look at it. And one thing that we can do is we can pivot off of the, the connection ID that we would see in the Zeek log. So let's go in here and we'll go to log.uid, which is the Zeek connection ID, and pivot off of that or hunt off of that. And uh, you can see there's some more events in here. Now, uh, if you try to add an event that's already been added to a case, it won't gray out. It'll go. You can see the message up there says this has already been added to the case. Um, only alerts will be uh, grayed out. Uh, alerts can only be escalated once, but uh, an event can be escalated multiple times into multiple cases. So let's hop back into this case and look at all of the events associated with this case. Uh, you can see that there's uh, a lot in here. We're going to go ahead and extend this out to 13, or I mean to 50, so we can see all 13 of them. Um, and let's add some observables. So let's go into this one and we will find the file hash. And we'll go ahead and add that as an observable. So the observables will try to auto detect what it is. Uh, you know, you always want to double check to make sure, but you know, for hashes and IPs, it's pretty consistent. So we've added that. And let's add the IP addresses as an observable as well. So we'll go back in the events, we'll pick one that has the uh, IP. There we go. And we'll add that as an observable as well. Uh, so now let's uh, go and say we've, we fixed this user, we've we cleaned out their machine, or we've, we have proof in the antivirus console that it was quarantined. So we'll go ahead and add proof to this case. So when we close it out, uh, we'll have that record there. So we'll go ahead and um, put a description in here uh, for this case, or for this uh, screenshot, and go ahead and add it. Let's go and uh, put some comments in the case, or a comment in the case, and uh, supports full markdown. We're just going to say, hey, we cleaned the, the uh, machine, and these are the steps we followed. And you can see once I hit add, this will show in markdown. So there we go. Uh, so you can see the list in there. All right, so let's go back to alerts, and let's add another event into a case. So let's just pick this one. Uh, we're not going to go too deep in here. We'll drill down escalate this case. Now I wanted to show you something here that's very important and that is uh, if you do not go into the case and look at it, uh, it will not be on your quick bar. So you have to go into the case to look at it. So 
Uh, here's an example. I'll go in, I'll hunt. I'll just pick a random event here and go to escalate it. And you can see it's not listed in my action bar. So if I go back into the case, I click on it just to view it. Um, now, if I go back and I uh, go to escalate an event, you'll see that it's uh, now listed in there and you can add this. So this, this helps if you're working multiple cases, you could pivot around and add cases or add events to each one of those cases. Another feature is being able to search on observables. So let's say you added that observable and you want to see who else has downloaded it. You can click on the hunt button and it'll show you everybody that's downloaded that file. You can change your time ranges or whatever you need. One last feature here to show you is the history. So you can have full case history, every update, anytime anything's added or removed from the case or changed. So here you can see this is where I added the comment. So that is a preview of cases. 23.100 should be coming soon. So keep an eye out on our blog and Twitter to know when you can start using this awesome new feature.